Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today, I am going to put my take on the Rotel Tacos that my daughter saw on TikTok. She said, Mama, try it out. I said, I'm going to do it my way. Okay, so there's some black beans. I had those in the crock pot overnight. There's the taco meat that I browned up and then uh, did it with the taco seasoning, just like you normally would. I've got my taco shells. I prefer the stand-ups. Get whatever kind you want. That is about four ounces of Velveeta cheese, some sour cream, the Rotel, some cherry tomatoes I cut up, some lettuce that I cut up, and some cilantro. I'm going to make it simple, easy, and yet delicious. Let's get started. All right, since I've already got my meat browned up, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that cheese. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in that whole can of Rotel in the juices. Now, I'm sure this is a pretty simple recipe. I haven't seen it on TikTok. And I've got this going on a medium low because I don't want to burn my cheese. But I haven't seen it on TikTok, but my daughter talked about it. And maybe I'll go and look at it later. Or maybe not. She just had one request to put the lettuce on the bottom. I said, well, that makes sense, baby. Because <laughs> if you don't put the lettuce on the bottom, then your shell is going to become super soggy. So I'm going to melt this. This is going to take about roughly about 10 minutes. So we're going to get that done. And then when I get that melted, I'll be right back. And also keep in mind, you need to constantly stir while this is melting. I'm using this skillet because I don't want to dirty up another dish. And I'm going to just drop that hamburger meat right on in here once it's all melted up. Okay? So you do need to constantly stir so that your cheese does not burn. All right? So we're five minutes in. A couple more minutes, it'll be done. All right, as you can see, that cheese is completely melted. You can absolutely add more cheese, but I figured if I add more cheese, then it'll probably turn into a real serious soupy mess. So we're going to go in with that hamburger meat that I've already cooked up. And we're just going to let this go ahead and become friends and get to know one another. And I'm going to let this go for about three minutes. And then we're going to start building those tacos. Look at that. Yum, yum. We're going to make some. All right. And I'm using all products that I already had in the house. I didn't go out and buy anything. Okay. All right. I'm going to let this go for two more minutes. Let it warm all the way through. Because like I said, that hamburger meat was in the refrigerator. And I'll be back in two minutes. All right. Everything's done. And we're going to go ahead and make this baby up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. You never know what Gigi's going to be doing in this kitchen. And cooking is something that I love to do. All right. Add as little or as much lettuce as you want. Like I always say, your kitchen, your rules. But just remember, you got to put some goodness in here. So you don't want to fill it up too much. Like I just did. But I like lettuce. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in those black beans. And you don't have to add black beans to yours. Like I said, make it the way you want it. The way you want it, okay? And I just love black beans. And then if you're getting older like I am, I've definitely been welcome to the 50 Club. Yes, I am 51, for those of you who didn't know. And um, you want to get as many goodness going on as you can, okay? So those are a great source of iron. I'm going to put a couple of tomatoes in here. You want to get your veggies. You want to try to stay healthy. You got people to live for. All right. So we got that in there. I'm going to put in a little sprinkle of cilantro. All right. And not everybody loves cilantro, but I absolutely love it. And then we're going to go in with some of that. And you can absolutely add some um, shredded cheese. Like I said, make it your own. Why not? And then I'm going to go in with that Rotel. Look at that. Yum, yum. I haven't tried this yet, but I guarantee you I know it's delicious. Okay, put a little bit more in there. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit more of the cilantro. Mm. 
You can put some jalapenos in this too if you like that. And then we're going to put a couple of more tomatoes in there. Look at that. There we go. Somebody saying mama. I am a mother of three. Okay. And there we are. And I was going to put sour cream on this, but because I'm doing video, got to do a few shots. I'll wait. There she is. Things made easy with Gigi. My daughter saw this on TikTok, wanted to try it out. And there she is. I'm going to give her a close up and I'll be right back. There she is, her close up. Things made easy with Gigi. Look at that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and feel free to share. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. You'll see Gigi next time. Take care, you guys.